not rocket science. There's no dark arts involved. You just work hard, eat correctly and get enough sleep. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I mean, and you, you got to hope for a bit of luck along, along the way. Um, I, you know, as time went on, I naturally got a bit bigger, so it got even more difficult to uh, make that weight limit of 12 stone, 168 pounds, which everyone's going to know about soon now with a new metric system. So, <laughs> yeah, correct. Uh, old money or semi-new money, 76.2 kilos. So I come in the gym and I might be closer to 90 kilos. So you just have to tr trim away at that week in, week out. So that would be something to focus on uh, as well as... So you keeping know, your weight down was actually a, a sort of persistent challenge for you, really? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, really was. Um, how, do you, how does one get the weight down when you're training? Just put the fork down, I think. Just, Is that it? Yeah, stop eating, cut back on your calories. Um, obviously, the work's going in to get fit and healthy and, and strong for the fight anyway, um, and you don't want to overcook yourself in that respect. So... You also got to maintain a good metabolism. So it's, it's a real fine art in the end and you have to get to learn how your body operates and it, and as you get older, it changes a little bit and some things mm. come into play, but uh, it, it's almost a fine art in that respect, peaking for a fight, because as a professional, you might fight two, three times a year maximum at the top level. So you really want to be on your A game for that one particular, well, for them 36 minutes. Uh, you all have sparred and trained with many talented boxers. Uh, you won titles, others didn't. What was the difference between those that win boxing matches and those that lose them? I said, there's a lot of stuff involved. I mean, there really is. I mean, of course, you've got to have a, a reasonable amount of talent and athleticism and stuff like that. And then there's the cliches of hard work and, and dedication that Floyd Mayweather has been... Uh, pattering on about now for years and years and years wanting it enough yeah you know because there are some there's some tough times i mean my story is essentially winning a world title at the fourth attempt so mm. it's coming back from new rock bottoms each and every time i lost um having that uh that desire that resilience really that you know, i talk about confidence remaining confident you know unwavering self-belief and resilience so that combined you keep pushing forward for your target Eyes on the goal, and uh, and if if you if you're willing to put the put the put the time and put the effort in, you get there. So life was telling you, and the games telling you time and time again, you know this is not happening. You, you you're just not going to reach the top. So what kept you going? What where did that persistence come from? Uh, I'm I'm not quite sure. Because others would have would have no pun intended thrown the town in, wouldn't they? At that point, after the third loss. Possibly, possibly. I mean, I, I never took a loss well. <laughs> mm. I never, I, I don't enjoy losing. Um, I'm stubborn like that. Did anyone tell you, look, mate, pack it in, it's not happening? No, no one did. No one did. And maybe that was, that was a good thing. Uh, I'd never, you know, I'd, I'd lost, but I'd never been sort of beaten up as such. Uh, my first world title loss was kind of controversial. The second one was even winning the fight and then get knocked out, made a mistake. And then the third, the third attempt, it was, it was really close, could have gone either way. So yeah. I was always within touching distance. I talk about trying to climb Everest and getting 15 feet from the top, thinking you've climbed Everest, but in fact you haven't. So you're loitering around there, freezing to death. Yeah. Not, so you're not going to survive. You've got to come back down and start again. And that's kind of what I did in the end. Um, and then for me... A huge relief, I've got to admit, but uh, a wonderful moment when I finally won the belt.